So the first point we are going to discuss is that why we are not able to score well in the IELTS exam, why we are not able to get our desired score. We have given test after test and we have been scoring uh, maybe a six or a six and a half or a seven, but not eight or above because for IELTS we need eight triple seven, right? So in listing we need eight. Uh, we, to achieve our golden score, we definitely need eight, at least for most of the people, but there might be some people who might require less than this. So the first point is that our ear is not developed or accustomed to regular listening, right? So it's not developed enough. Of course, we may be good at listening, but not enough for us to get the desired band, okay? Many of us watch movies and we think that, oh, okay, we watch English movies, so that might help us get a good score. Well, it can help to a certain extent, but not completely. So watching movies doesn't help because the pictures help you understand the story and uh, we are not really making a complete use of listening. So if you compare watching movies with listening podcasts, in podcasts, you just have to listen and then try to imagine. So it opens the door of the imagination in your brain because of which you're able to think, okay, so, so the speaker is saying this, that means that incident must have happened. So you can, for, you can envisage, you can form a mental picture of the story in your head and which is exactly what we need for our listening skills because this is not watching a video and listening. This is just listening, right? So we should spend time in those activities which is going to help us in our listening skills, okay? So I'm not saying stop watching movies, but we know how we watch movies, right? We basically watch it to enjoy. The day when we start watching movies for educational purposes, like improving our listening skills, I would then say that movies can help. For example, playing a few minutes of the movie and then making notes of what they have said and writing it down and then reflecting on it. All right, uh, the next thing that doesn't help is giving practice test after test with no clue of what's going wrong. So many students just continue to give tests so they would buy the Cambridge books, which is great. But by just giving test after test, it's not going to help us improve until we actually find out what are the reasons uh, we are making those mistakes. So we need to analyze. So we will discuss all of that. We'll look at how to how to effectively practice. I'm not saying that practicing is not required. It is definitely going to be part of your preparation. However, it must be done in a way that's going to help you improve. Because sometimes if you just keep giving practice tests and keep getting the similar result every time, then it can be a little demotivating, okay?